Hi guys, this is Marshall Suchet, and you're watching a battle between myself and Marshall Masena. This battle was for a tournament. Um, Masena decided to pick the British, as you can see here. And because he picked the British and he's a very good player, I decided I'd do the same thing. So, this might get a little bit confusing as we get into the battle, but I don't know. I think, uh, I think it was a good battle. Um, it was very, very close. One of the closest battles I've fought so far. Anyway, um, you can see me here. I'm grabbing the train before he does. As I've said before, it's very important to get the train first before your enemy gets there because I think it gives you not only the advantage in the battle, but it also gives you a moral advantage. Um, if the other guy sees you surging across the map and grabbing all the terrain, he's not going to feel too happy. So anyway gonna get the hill before him. Moving up my guys so they can take up the position in the forest. In that. My cavalry's going around the flanks. I'll just try and hide them. Um, eventually I think he'll probably make a few mistakes and I'll be able to use his cavalry to my advantage. Surprise him. I'm doing the same thing down this flank. With these guys. So he's seen them. Uh, just moved some guys onto the flank, probably to try and try and protect them, or protect his army from my cavalry. So he's got a whole bunch of guys in this forest, which is really good for cover and defense. You can see them there. Um, so that's a good move. It'll be tricky for me to to eliminate those guys. There's cavalry's in the rear. So they're ready to counter any moves that I might make. Um, some howitzers. Now I've said before that howitzers aren't very dangerous, but the exception is the British howitzers, the Russian howitzers, and the French howitzers. So naturally, I was a bit worried about these. Uh, Masena uses them really well. Uh, if I'm not careful, he can hit my general with them, and that's not pleasant. There are quite a few battles where you can be winning, and if the one hats around just gets lucky, um, you can totally mess up your battle. Anyway, I've secured this hill firing into his flank, moving through the forest as well. have my reserves up here, ready to charge if they're needed. Um, so as you can see, some flanking fire. I don't think he moved that well during this battle. Um, well, he, he did move quite well, but I think he should have been a bit more aggressive at the start and got this hill before I got there because it simply allowed me to funnel all these troops down his flank and that caused a lot of problems for him. Um, the is a good general uh, so uh, even though I did manage to flank him it wasn't easy. Uh, we'll watch what happens. So his light dragoons are going up the flank. They'll probably charge my, my light troops up there. King's German Legion light foot. I wonder if he's seen my my cavalry. So these guys are hidden. I hope not. So he's trying to engage me in the woods now. Um, he won't do much damage to my line because I'm deep in the forest. Um, it's very hard for him to enfilade me, which is what he's trying to do here with this unit, that unit, and these other units. Because I'm so f so deep in dense terrain, um, a lot of those bullets are going to miss. So as you can see, they're in a big firefight, but I've lost one guy, lost four guys, six guys. Lost about 18 guys there, but I mean, this could go on forever. And I'll just suck in all his troops. Got these guys on the hill here. Our men are running, sir. Later in the battle, I might try and flank. I could enfilade this unit, once I got around to it, Ooh, what's happened? 
He has charged my skirmishes with his light cavalry. Above St. Guy's ran his flank to try and um, enfilade him. And I'm countering his cavalry now. That was a good charge though. He took out my skirmishes. The problem that he has is that um, it's cost him a unit of cavalry. And towards the end of the battle, his cavalry shortage will really begin to really begin to hurt him. So it was a good charge, but I don't know. Could have been more successful. Um, so anyway. I think that's me. Anyway, all the action's happening on this flank. Um, I think I'm just pulling back, moving more troops up on this flank. I've deployed my reserve of skirmishes right there, so I can, can get back to shooting him. My artillery's deploying, and this will be very important. It'll help me win the firefight. This is really funny, I'm not sure who owns this unit. <laughs> uh. Anyway, he's trying to surge up my flank. He's suffering a lot of casualties, and I mean, his houses are deployed, but because they're firing infantry, there's only so much that they can do. Lightfoot could route though. Anyway, I'm forming up with an attack group on his flank and bringing up my heavy reserves of cavalry. Sir, right general there. Is under attack. My general's nice and safe from his howitzers right back there. I'm bringing troops up on his flank to enfilade him. Right there. So many casualties have I suffered in this firefight. Nine casualties few more. 22 casualties. Uh, about 60. But this has gone on forever. Um, and that's the advantage of deploying in forests. So these skirmishes have routed. Uh, but now I'm firing canister into his line infantry. And he's not moving them. Um, he's bringing troops up on the flank. So this is the this is the intense part of the battle. So I'm going to attack. Moving up my troops. He doesn't know my cavalry are there. Doesn't know. The men are fatigued, sir. I must Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can catch him out. He's losing the firefight there. bringing up more men on the flank, and I'm charging the Highlanders into melee. So this will stop him from forming square, and will cause a lot of problems for him. Especially when I unleash my cavalry, right here, and there, and there. So let's see this. Yeah, his men are gone. I've got three units of cavalry up against them. Look at that. Oh, man. What a charge. So I've taken out his flank. For a moment it looked like he might do some damage on that flank, but in two seconds, um, the outcome of this battle is completely switched. I was lucky he didn't notice my Light Dragoons at the start. So my Highlanders are going to keep charging, I think. Oh, wait, no. Form a firing line. Bringing up more men. Put some weight in the attack. So I'm going to charge him from the flank, and I think I'll fire at him from his front. So this should break his men. His men are running off. 
So he's losing the firefight here, and he knows it. So he's pulling back. Getting to a better defensive position. These men here are trying to pull back, but uh, I don't think it's going to work for them. They're getting surrounded. My cavalry are coming out again. Try and run these guys down. I think they'll succeed. My Highlanders have done well. They've really broken the flank working with the cavalry. They're routing them. But they've done their job. I think a loss of three units for one is not too bad. So let's see, he's redeploying. Um, still charging. Try and, try and break the unit. Yep. They're running. That hurt the cavalry a bit. Charges skirmishes to try and get the most out of this. This damages his skirmish line, what's left of it, and gives me time for my troops to move up. So on this flank here, my cavalry is just hovering. Yeah, I've moved up to attack him a little bit with my skirmishes. These guys are just staying there, so are those guys. All the action's happening here. It's my heavy dragoons coming out. Let's see how much damage I can running, do. Send one unit to distract his light dragoons. I'll send the other unit around his flank. Try and get his howitzers. And I'll charge again with the Highlanders. Highlanders are really good for charges. They've got very good melee. Again, I'm charging there. So his house is gone. Our men are running for Canistering his men. Just causing as much chaos as I can. My light cavalry is moving up the other flank. I don't think he sees this. Cavalry's moving up to attack my light infantry. So he's sort of stopped me. Yes, sir. He's suffered an awful lot of damage. The cavalry's just parked there on his flank. Not doing anything yet. The rest of my army's waiting. So I've taken out his men on the flank. It's them routing. That's his unit. Pretty sure it's my men in the square. 